Uh. Okay, sir. So on average in this country, it is about $48,000 annually to house a prison inmate. The high being 135,000 in Wyoming and the low being one, uh, 13,000 in Mississippi. Huh. So the question is for law abiding citizens, is there something that we should be getting out of this? I mean, when you look at inmates having medical, dental, things like that, there's people that are working that have to have this taken out of their checks, they're paying for it. Access to education. Uh, is there something that we should be getting that kind of evens that out? Mm, yes, but no, because the military is just like prison. Once you sign that contract and once you, you know, commit a you know crime and you know and you sentence mm -hmm. you, you stay property which means the state has to take care of you eighth amendment i agree so when it comes to us the system is fuck the system is rigged you know to fuck us over in the long run so as i was I, yeah it's like it's it's a it's a topsy-turvy topic and it's like uh yeah but i wouldn't want it Cause there's always some type of some type of bullshit along with that. So right. I wouldn't even take it if they did give us some type of, you know, tax money. I don't know, whatever the case may be. But yeah, it's 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 a it's a different topic to where to where it's it's, it's something to think about. For right. Sure. But yeah, it's 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 like the military. It's yeah, they're gonna take care of their people. And when it comes to prisoners, they're going to take care of them because that's what's making them money every day. Right. So. With the uh, with the mention of military, but it that's kind of like they're working for their benefits. Yeah, and yeah. It, so does it differ? I mean, versus being somebody who's a uh, housed inmate? It is because, you know, you get to do certain things, but you're still restricted from doing certain things. Okay. Um, what, what becomes, well, with the military, you can go up, it's, you know, brackets of mm -hmm. military. Prison, there's no bracket at all. You just, that inmate. Right. And they're going to treat you as one. So, when it comes to the military, it is a little different. But uh, you don't work physically and not paying shit off because they pay for everything. Right. Plus it give you a whole lot of other benefits along with that. So you just putting, depends on what uh, what branch of military you're in, you, you really you're just going to be making, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say easy money, but it's easier than fucking prison. I know that. How so? Uh, you get to carry a weapon. You get trained. Um, after that, you still you, you have a background in in military, and if you don't get if you don't get kicked out, if this honor be discharged, then you good. You have a, you have a good you have a good stepping stone once you get out. If you want to get out to do something else, right, right. Aren't so, those just the rewards of our choices in life, though? The rewards or consequences? Yeah, it is. It is. And at the same time, military they get pensions and prisoners don't right so should we look at something just as simple as like medical and maybe access to education for people if, uh, yeah you're right those two you're right we should get more access to that just like how prisoners are because they're getting their phds bachelors right PhDs in there but some of that don't be credited okay it's just it's just a piece of paper saying all right you know how to do this but it's not credited but it's like they treat it as a, as a experience okay so but military is different because everybody you know respect the military nobody respects fucking prisoners yeah that's so that may be a part of the stigma that yeah. goes along with it yeah. cool cool any shout outs nah just yeah keep your money stack right. your bread Stop fucking with these dumbass bras. All right, sir. Yeah, I appreciate yeah. your time. No problem. I'm about to get run over. Hey, take your ass to work. Okay, so on average in this country, it is just about $48,000 to house a prisoner annually. The high being Wyoming, $135,000 per year and the low Mississippi, just around 13,000 per year. 
So my question is, we as citizens who are not committing crimes and things like that, are there breaks that we should be getting? Are there pay raises that we should be receiving? Uh, free medical? Because those are a lot of things that inmates are getting that working class people have to spend on. Or there's people who just aren't committing crimes who still don't have those benefits. What are your thoughts? I feel like, well, I'm not, I'm not that into my life yet. Right. <laughs> but I feel like, personally, for us to be paying for the prisoners to get better benefits than us people that work hard. Mm -hmm. So, like, we're basically pay paying taxes for them. Mm -hmm. Plus, we're paying our medical bills and stuff like that. So our taxes is going to their medical bills, right. in a sense. And I'm like, that doesn't make sense if they're in prison. I mean, I get it. Like, they should have care and all that stuff. But at the same time, they if they're in there, they deserve to be in there. Mm -hmm. You know? Like, they committed a crime. They know that it was against the law. Like, I mean, there are some people that are wrongly put in there. And I do understand, like, putting like wasting your money on taxes and stuff just to put, like, wrongly accused people in there, that's wrong. Mm -hmm. I feel like we should, if we get our taxes taken out, I feel like we should put it towards, like, a better system of how to, I guess, prison people. Right, know? right, right. I don't know. I'm so sorry. I know. I'm sorry. I'll get you out of okay, here. No, um, so, Kat brought up a great point also is that people are getting um, free education and things like that while in prison. So, is that something that students should also be able to reap benefits from because again there's a lot of people who are out here who are your age older having to work their way through and they're not getting the same of you know kind of benefits that that you would in prison um i'm not and i'm not saying i want to go to prison just for school or free benefits yeah. and i'm sure that there's a lot to this that i may not be you know fully aware, aware of but isn't there just a a point where we should be able to get something a little bit more than an inmate would um, even though we want them to do better yeah I feel like we should just be like Canada free health care <laughs> free health care <laughs> honestly it's a lot just to be living like you have to spend thousands of dollars just to have life insurance car insurance just to be able to do anything really like you need money in order to survive in this life and I feel like it sucks now. Um, I feel like if people in prison, they don't even make money, yet they're getting those experiences is just wrong. Right. Like, they're in there. Like, they shouldn't Like they shouldn't be having this access. I mean, I get it. They're trying to fix their lives and stuff, but why are you wasting our money just to put in schooling and all that stuff when in reality people are struggling just to get into school? Like me, I'm... I'm trying to make money to save up to go to community college, you know? Right. I don't know. I feel like... I I don't know. I had, I have a weird opinion about it. It's because I've never really, in the sense... Because my dad, he went to prison, right? Mm hmm But when he was there, he didn't take any, like, benefits. Like, right. Like, he didn't want it. He was like, that's dumb. Like, why would I be wasting other people's time, money, and all that stuff? Because... I'm in here for a valuable reason, you know? Like, I did my time, I wasted it, and now I'm out and I'm fixing my life. Right. That's what my dad did. And um, I feel like that's how it should be, you know? Yeah. Excellent. I know you're freezing. I appreciate your time, so I'm going to get you out of here. It's okay. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Bye-bye. Cat Coleman in the house. How are you, sir? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Okay, so... The average cost for an inmate across the country is 48000 just under 48000 per year to house. The high being, I believe it's Wyoming, 135000 per inmate per year, and the low, Mississippi, 13000 So that average. So for the rest of us, should we get some sort of stipend, or should we just be able to earn a $50,000 know, annual salary just being contributors to society like these people are getting benefits and things that we have to work for so should there be something that we get that's just like free of charge like the government is given to uh housing inmates um i mean justice system got to be thought over anyway because it's it's so much deep deep dive into the justice system and 
how the inmates are housing and how they treat it and here we go politicians play for it. <laughs> every, every, every day right <laughs> so i mean uh I would say, I mean, we, we would deserve some type of incentive. I mean, shit, as much as, as hard as we work to stay out of trouble, you know what I mean? Why why do we have to, you know what I mean? Which is the good thing to do, why we have to help pay these extra amenities that they have. And, you know what I mean? Which is, I guess, that's just by law, we have to, but we don't get any type of incentive for it or nothing or just a pat on the back or it's just just all black and white. Right. You know what I mean? So it's like, man, they, it's, it's just like the rich get rich, the poor get poor. Right. You know what I mean? And it's still, and it stays, and it's actually going to stay like that for a bad way, probably past when I'm dead. It's going to stay like that. And, you know what I mean? That's just how life is. So. so I believe it's the Eighth Amendment that does state that if you're going to have somebody like a captive or a prisoner, you are responsible for, you know, quality of life. Mm -hmm. But then is there a point where as freed civilians in that same society we deserve the same so let's say you know they're going to say there's no way we're giving everybody fifty thousand, but you deserve free dental and medical the same way an inmate would get would that be at least fair because what does that come off your check yeah yeah real soon you like some of these people who probably go to work or probably never got a chance to get a ged because they have to grow up too fast and raise their brothers and little brothers and sisters some of these people they should be able to just automatically get one and you know what i mean or, or do things like that because in the jail system you know kids kids older men older women as well people still getting their gds and getting help mm. academically and mm -hmm. getting help uh you know what i mean even with scholarships and even with different you know it's it's sometimes you know being in prison sometimes it has some good sometimes it has some bads but the good thing is that they like to help the inmates right you know what i mean and I, I, I do think that we, as people, the ones who are actually paying these taxes, we deserve some type of incentive or something. Something so, you know what I mean? I don't think it's probably nothing like that. But, yeah, that does sound right. Some type of, I mean, I don't think it's nothing like they would give us all 50000 or even let alone 10000 5000 But, I mean, as far as something that will be beneficial for us in the long run, like being a car, you know, let us get a... a um, you know what I mean? At least like just, uh, at least half off on prescriptions or something when we need to fill right. prescriptions, or at least something that gave us like a, at least a like a, a little something. You know what I mean? Something a little discount sometime every now and then. Whatever, whatever we can get. I mean, we're very appreciative for it. But you know what I mean, it's just gonna be it's like pulling teeth. So <laughs> I mean, I think we do deserve something for the harder the hardest we work as Americans, and we're basically paying for all this stuff paying for all the taxes is paying for all these these free meals and paying for all these uh, 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 clothes on your back and I mean all this type of stuff you know what I mean so I mean, I mean I'm, that would be the ideal thing is to help the, help the people out that's actually paying for this give them some type of uh, and some type of incentive to just you know what I mean uplift them and keep them you know I mean keep them happy cool cool any shout outs uh, <laughs> shout out everybody Stay loved, have peace, I mean, chicken grease. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I appreciate your time, sir. Okay, so should prisoners or should people get a lot of the benefits that prisoners um, are getting? I think that it's a very hard um, line to divide as far as what, but I would start with medical and uh and education if prisoners can get those sort of amenities which i'm all in favor of because i believe that that's the the crux of the rehabilitation system is one to diagnose people properly because a lot of it is not just getting glasses or or um or new teeth it comes with uh mental health evaluations as well correct diagnoses and treatment so i'm all for that and education for a lot of people who may have wound wound up in prison because they came from impoverished areas that did not focus on education for uh, for their survival. So I'm all in favor of that. But I also think that there's people all across the board who may have come from a middle class, upper middle class, um, affluent homes who fell on hard times, who may not have the ability to 
have gotten the same things or who have the same medical uh, mental diagnoses or physical ones that prohibit them from operating in society at a level that um, that they deserve to. So I think that there's a big piece to that that says, yes, while the Eighth Amendment says, you know, we cannot give uh, prisoners un, uh, excessive fines or cruel and unusual punishment, being fed, being housed um, and potentially being educated and treated uh, fairly in a medical sense. And I'm not saying that, th that that's the case all the way across the board, that everybody's being treated well. We hear horror stories from prisons and that's unfortunate, but at least with an amendment in place, it says that they are afforded that. And so therefore, in a lot of cases, people are getting that. Um, I would like to see people who are just uh, working regular jobs who are struggling to find their way back into school, have the same abilities to get that somebody um, serving time in a federal or privatized prison would get. I'd like to see people who don't have medical benefits be able to get the same sort of things that, uh, again, prisoners or convicted felons have gotten. Now, I know that there's a lot of things that are available. I just don't know how readily available or equally available they are to the average citizen who is not serving time versus somebody in a prison and vice versa. It may be very a very long process to get that taken care of in prison as well. Um, but I do think that there's something. Now, as far as the, um, the annual amount, yeah, it would be great in society if everybody were able to earn a $50,000 um, salary. But then again, does that drive up inflation as well? Does the, everything else become more expensive? So then we're just at the same rate of distance being able to afford things versus actually everybody coming up. So um, that would be something to um, explore in a financial way with people who would know much more than I would. But I do think that there's something there because I think that it's kind of crazy that um, a lot of things are being given to people who deserve the opportunity, but don't all people deserve the opportunity, I guess is where I'm coming from. So I'm not too sure um, how that anything like that would happen or go about happening, but I'm in favor of at least being introduced, explored, and maybe it has been and shot down or it's something that's still in the works. So guys, let me know, what do you think? Ace up the sleeve, advice, comment, experience. For those of you who know somebody who's done time in prison, I do. And <laughs> and for uh, the other people, um, you may not understand like the inner workings of what the system does or does not do, but it's still... Uh, a question that I think everybody can have an opinion on. So I'm going to leave it at that. Again, ace up the sleeve, advice, comment, experience, leave it in the thread, hit the like. If you like the content, if you don't hit the dislike, I won't be mad at you, but leave it in the comments. Let's have a co conversation either way. And then um, share and subscribe. It all matters and really helps the channel grow. And I appreciate each one of you and the people who are contributing to these street interviews on a regular basis. So guys, I will see you soon. Peace, love, unity, solidarity.